Good morning, guys. It is Jonathan with One Big Impact. So, welcome. If you're new here, go check us out on Facebook. Our group is called Healthy Living for a Healthy Life and also on Instagram at One Big Impact. So, today's going to be a video based on, in my opinion, something that a lot of people struggle with in the beginning of getting healthy. And that is, my weight's not moving fast enough, whether it's on Atkins, keto, counting macros, flexible dieting, um, high protein, paleo, Mediterranean diet, doesn't really matter. A lot of the times when people get started, they say, Jonathan, I have everything right, and uh, I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but I haven't lost a lot of weight. So I did make a semi-popular video um, back in the day that was called um, the whoosh effect. Basically what the whoosh effect means is in its simplest terms, you have all these fat cells inside your body that are super filled with fat right now and you are going to change that. Well, that process is not like, boom, I'm going to lose fat right now. Sometimes during this process, your body decides to say, you know what? I'm not really sure if we're going to get that fat back. So let's hang on, let's keep those cells full. We're gonna fill them up with water during this process. And if you promise to keep getting less fat, then we will eventually dissipate. Um, not get rid of, but just like shrink or um, remove the size, uh, the volume of those fat cells. So understanding that sometimes it's not that you're off track, it's just that your body doesn't really know what's going on. You've been fat for a long time or have been out of shape for quite some time and your body is just a little bit confused on what's happening. So just give it time. The big thing is you can't just say, I'm eating low carb, I'm not losing weight, I don't know what's going on. And when you say low carb, what is low carb? Like you're not eating rice, you're not eating at Mexican food restaurants, what the fuck does that mean? And the reason I ask you that, what does that mean? Because I see a lot of snacks coming out that say low carb. And you read them at, like the cauliflower crust pizza. Not all of them, but the majority of them, you think cauliflower crust, that's got to be low in carbs. Fucking carbs are like 60 grams of carbs in a pizza. And you might be thinking, well, that's low. Compared to what? Like compared to a regular pizza? Yeah, I suppose. But it sure in the fuck is not low carb low carb or Atkins or keto or something like that would be ridiculously lower than that. That'd be like <clears throat> four or five days worth of food, four or five days worth of carbs. So it definitely won't work for you. So <clears throat> obviously you have to have your macros, right? Like your carbs, right? And stuff like that. But in addition to that, you also have to have your calories in check. How many calories are you eating? How many calories are you burning? How many calories do you need to be at to promote weight loss? Because you could just say, well, Jonathan told me I am filling up my fat cells with water. Well, that's not always the exact case. So you have to understand calories are probably the most important thing. Above that would be uh, carbs and meaning like if you're on taking a keto or Atkins approach or something like that, those are going to be next in line. And obviously you want to be eating sufficient amounts of protein to be able to hold on to the muscle so that the weight you are losing is not muscle. And you might be thinking, I don't want to get big and bulky. Shut the fuck up. You're not going to get big and bulky. It doesn't work like that, okay? Trust me, <laughs> it is a ridiculous amount of effort to be able to get big and bulky. So, understanding that all of those things have to be in place. If those things are in place and your body's not changing that much, you could do something like a body fat scan, meaning go to a nutrition shop and do like a little handheld one or whatever. Just make sure that your body is changing over time. At the end of the day, if you are not changing, and I would say if three weeks went by, something's up and you probably need to make a change at that point. But usually if it lasts like a week or two, don't stress on it, it's not a big deal. Um, you could try fasting for a day. And I tell everybody this, fast for an entire day, nothing, 24 hours, drink three bottles of water max, like, and just fast, and you go, oh, I can't fast, dude, we're fucking made to fast, that's why you pick, that's why you carry so much body fat, 
because we are efficient at holding on to body fat. When we eat too much, we have too much fat. Fasting for a few days is not a big deal. Fast for 24 hours, drink three bottles of water. If you wake up lighter in the next day or so, um, clearly you're eating too much. So something's wrong there and you need to adjust your food. Um, but that should be a uh, really easy outlier. By the way, I hope you liked this video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Be patient. Your journey takes time. Um, again, go check us out on Facebook. Our group is called Healthy Living for Healthy Life. Have a beautiful day. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning. What the hell are you doing awake? <laughs>